Hi, welcome to Weightlift Every Day. My name is Marcos. I'm trying to get back into rhythm here. We're back into stride with Weightlift Every Day after suffering a little bit of a shoulder injury. On October 17th, I was going pretty heavy on snatches. I had 88 kilos on the bar. And I had told myself that day that I was not leaving the gym until I successfully got under that 88 kilos and made the snatch. And, you know, perhaps I attempted it more times than I should have, but on the film, counted up to six attempts, and on seventh, I finally made it, you know, recruiting every single muscle fiber in my body to hold the weight and stand it up. It was pretty wonky. I'll include video of it here, and you'll be able to see. And when I made it, I felt very great. You know, I felt stoked that I finally got the weight, and I imagine with the adrenaline running and everything, I didn't really feel anything until I was warming up for my clean and jerk and I realized oh I can't raise my arm above my head okay so had to cut my workout short that day take a couple of days off uh, took a bunch of fish oil pills a bunch of ibuprofen you know icing my shoulder and after about three days my shoulder started feeling pretty good again started getting mobility anyways and I could start you know raising it above my head Went back to the gym on Friday the 21st and slowly but surely starting to gain confidence back again in that, that overhead position in the snatch. You know, at first, the first couple of days felt kind of awkward to get, you know, to extend the elbow and get that shoulder locked in. I think a flaw in my technique that I'm definitely looking forward to fix, I think led to the shoulder problem and leads to a lot of my misses where I'm strong enough to put the weight you know, into the power position, into the hip, bring it up enough height to where I can get under it. But I always miss that lockout. I always miss that catch. I think the reason being is, and you know, a video by Alakse Tarakti goes into this. If you look up the overhead snatch position, uh, it'll be one of the first videos to pop up. It's the internal versus external rotation of the shoulder blades. I was definitely guilty of externally rotating your shoulders to where your lats flare out and you know you're really holding the bar up with a lot of upper body strength instead of the structural integrity of your of your skeleton that strong position of an overhead squat so uh, definitely working on internally rotating my shoulders making sure that the back the upper traps all those muscles are used to bring the shoulders in, make it secure, make it stable, and hopefully improve that catch position so that I'm not just bringing the weight up and praying that I can fall under it correctly, uh, just perfectly, but so that I'm actively pulling myself under, bringing that bar into, into the correct position and bringing, more importantly, my shoulders in to make sure that I have that proper stability and um, I don't lose it overhead. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video here. As you'll notice, I front squatted today with the snatch. I'm going to clean and jerk tomorrow and back squat and then um, probably play around some exercises, but still trying to go heavy as possible. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.